I'm Jeff Chase from Computer Science. So this is uh, when the cool cloud meets the smart grid. The smart grid is uh, the smart grid. That should be a familiar term. It's the power grid. Uh, when I talk about clouds, I'm talking about uh, data centers, buildings or rooms full of servers, computer servers, and related equipment uh, that provide uh, a lot of functions. There's been enormous growth in this area over the last few years. Some of you might have noticed that our students are spending a lot of time on a network service called Facebook, right? So that's one example of uh, this. Yeah. One example of uh, the large growth uh, in network services associated with this. Uh, data centers consume a lot of power. They're major power consumers. Uh, recent estimate, somewhere on the order of five to $10 billion in the US alone. Uh, 100 terawatt hours per year. Estimates do vary. Uh, these are some recent articles from the uh, New York Times uh, dealing with this issue just in the last year. So there's been uh, a, a lot of research and a lot of effort in figuring out ways to uh, make data centers smarter to reduce, reduce their energy footprint. In general, resource management in data centers is a, a first class uh, research topic in uh, computer systems. And so this is really about treating energy and also heat uh, as sort of a first, first class resource and figuring out uh, how to deal with that more efficiently. And it turns out that there's, there's actually uh, a, a, number of research, a number of research activities that have gone on in this space uh, in computer science at Duke, both in the past and also uh, ongoing. Uh, so I have a number of faculty whose work I'm representing here. This is, of course, uh, demand side stuff. And so we can break any kind of demand side approach to reducing an energy footprint into a couple categories. It's probably important for other uh, presentations later in the day. Energy efficiency is doing more with less. And primary activity here is, uh, I think, uh, Ben Lee in ECE is doing a lot of work on making data centers more efficient by clever use of heterogeneous hardware. Uh, energy proportionality is you know, turn off the lights when they're not in use, modulate the power consumed to match load and demand. And it turns out you can do that in uh, data centers because the load is very variable over, over time as people get on and off of these services. And I've done some, some research in that. Uh, demand response is generally the idea that you try to use power where it's cleanest and cheapest. You, know, you look at prices, you look at where the power is coming from, what the footprint is, and you move activity, work, in time or in space in order to change where and when you consume electrical power. And Bruce Maggs, uh, who's a professor in computer science, is one person who's done some research in that area. So I have four eye candy slides on these three different areas, which obviously I'm not going to be able to say very much about. Uh, but the heterogeneous data center idea is if we look at the computer hardware that's available, it turns out that servers and memory have very different characteristics in terms of the kinds of computational activities that they support and the amount of power consumed to do that. And that if you look at data center loads very closely, uh, you can see that, in fact, uh, Mixing different kinds of hardware can lead you to as much as a factor of five, maybe even a factor of 10 in the amount of energy consumed for a given computational activity. Uh, so Ben Lee and uh, some of his students are working on that. And it's also closely related to uh, some economic issues because you, do, you can use a sort of uh, bidding kind of mode in which the various workloads that are in a shared data center reveal their preferences based on the nature of the activity and allocate resources according to that. So there's a game theory aspect. Uh, elastic scaling is this idea that uh, we can modulate the power in a data, in a data center according to the, uh, the workload. Uh, there's a before and after slide here. Again, the workloads are very variable. We see uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And instead of managing, you know, leaving all the servers on and in high power states, what you do is you modulate the power states according to the load, deliver constant performance, and vary the energy. You can do the same kind of thing with heat. Data centers spend a lot of time uh, at low uh, utilizations. And when you're in this sort of middle range, uh, you, it turns out that where you place work within a data center makes a big difference in terms of the cost. Uh, also, a lot of these big companies have uh, data centers all over the country, all over the world. Uh, Google has data centers all over the country. Uh, Bruce Maggs in computer science is involved with a company called Akamai that has points of presence all over the world. And it turns out you can move workload to uh, use energy in different places uh, according to prices. And they do vary in different regions. So Bruce done some research in that. 
So the, the high order takeaway is that uh, these data centers are fertile ground for experimenting with general sort of data driven smart infrastructure control for demand side management. And they are based, these kinds of approaches are based on markets. Uh, the prices for cloud services and the prices for electricity vary. So there's a lot of sort of a market oriented uh, aspect there. And there's been a lot of research in this area at Duke. 